as many of you know, I am not a gamer, and I have had mixed feelings about some of the adaptations that have come out this year. Some I have absolutely loved, and some I did not care for. Uh, as for Fallout, never heard of it. I'd heard of The Last of Us, and I'd heard of Super Mario Brothers, but I know, I know, I mean, I heard the word Fallout, and I knew it was a video game. That's it. But from the Hollywood side, oh, I know a lot about this show. Uh, I loved Westworld with Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy coming on to adapt this game now because their other show, Westworld, did get canceled. And they, did, they never put their business hats on. And we'll see if they've learned anything with Fallout. Uh, but while uh, Westworld, I think, you know, didn't have its business hat on and, you know, really sometimes was not good and the second half of the final season was pretty awful, other points, it was absolutely brilliant. And then, I love me some Walton Goggins. Ah, Justified, Invincible, the guy's fantastic. Uh, but then also Ella Purnell, who I came to really like not only as a voice in Arcane, but her, her scenes in Yellow Jacket. She had a small role there, but she was very, very good. So for those reasons, I'm very excited about this. And if it's another, another Last of Us, well, who boy, that'll be great for all of us. Here we go but it's on Prime Video. We'll see if it has that HBO feel. I know that I've lived a relatively comfortable life. This is also a lot like Silo, which ended up being a big hit on no! Apple TV. <clears throat> Even down to Rebecca Ferguson looking kind of like Ella Purnell. They're you like, need to go home. He's a Nolan. All dwellers are an endangered species. Well, what happened and to that? I think you would be willing to do what it takes to survive up here. Now look at the video game people, front and center. If you insist on staying, <clears throat> then you will I have remember to that adapt. Guy from now. Whoa! Go back downstairs. Uh -huh. There. I'm free two-day shipping! That's hilarious. <clears throat> they know why you're a Prime Video member. This is great. Tomorrow's Ooh, oh, I'm gonna love this. Ah, oh, this is so good. Ah, oh, from Severance. new sun will suddenly break through. But I don't That's Walton Goggins. Look what they did to my boy. Unless I see it with you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I grabbed a moldy one. <clears throat> this looks great. I know, I believe the game is a lot about exploration. <clears throat> so they're certainly giving you a lot to look at. It's really messed up on here. Is that fingers in there? It's very scary. I see Benny. Is it the new Terminator? And yet still people don't learn their lesson about artificial intelligence. <clears throat> Show this show to Joe Biden. For those of you who don't know, he has come out really against artificial intelligence after watching Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. <clears throat> so that looked incredible. Really, really good. HBO level incredible. Uh, it looked a little Westworldy, I will say. I don't know if it's going to be have the broad appeal of The Last of Us. And I don't know, Fallout doesn't seem to be as popular a game like right now. But maybe, like, maybe Fallout people never forgot. Maybe you guys will get right back in it. But I feel that as a genre fan, at the very least, I shall have fun. So it looks phenomenal. I'm extremely, extremely impressed. So what do you think, both if you're a Fallout fan, and then also if, like me, you're totally new to this franchise? What do you think? Uh, I think it looks very, very good. All right, so share your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching with me. Subscribe today. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.